So dreaming is right at the heart of post-assembly planning um, in the map process and the path process as designed by Jack Pierpoint, Marshall Forrest, John O'Brien, and the other great symposiums on planning. Dreaming was, was put right in the heart of these processes, and in my experience, it's proved to be crucial to this way of planning. Um, but people often worry about it. You know, why would you ask young disabled people to dream about their future? Uh, young people and their families are more preoccupied by a day-to-day -day struggle against systems, schools, um, and services. Um, well, the important point about dreams are they give it a sense of direction. Um, by creating a sense of stillness, um, out of which some creativity can be born, as John O'Brien describes it, we can somehow look forward into the future and find possibilities. Um, an absolute sense of direction, just like these train lines give a sense of direction into the, into the distance. So dreaming will give a sense of direction for a young person, their family, their team, their supporters. Now they may dream for something completely unattainable, something they will never achieve in their own lifetimes, um, but it will still give a sense of a North Star image, a sense of this is a, a direction they'd love to be travelling in, especially if we can pursue them with the question, what does that dream bring you? And by asking what does the dream bring, other possibilities often become clear. So the young woman with a learning disability who, who, whose big dream was about it, being a teacher, uh, when it came to it, what she really wanted to do was be around children. She didn't actually want to play with them, work with them directly, she just wanted to be amongst them. So she got a great job in the, in the cafe at the, the local early year centre and her dream was, was absolutely met very well there. Uh, the young person with Down syndrome who really wanted to be a policeman was very happy to be working at a, at a railway station, not unlike this, uh, re-enacting uh, World War II setups whereby he was directing people to where the cafe was, to where the toilets were, giving out leaflets, dressed in a Second World War uniform. He was very happy in that situation. So his dream was about being a policeman, but actually what that brought him was helping people, which is what it was really about for him. So dreams are very powerful. Um, the dream part of a map or a pro or the or the path process are often what motivate and mobilize the whole rest of the plan. So we have to dream big. So really, for many of us, this is relearning how to dream, how to let it go and just find a fabulous dream. Enjoy your dreams. Thank you.